So now that you've seen that 2-butene has two different structures, one with a Z configuration and the other with a U configuration, we need to finish up on our introduction to organic nomenclature. So let's start with some alkene nomenclature. The rules are that we're going to determine the longest continuous chain containing the double bond and use that chain as the root. This chain has one, two, three, four, five carbons, so our root will be pent. Now we're going to number the root chain such that the first carbon in the double bond has the lowest number. So should we start with one on the left side or one on the right side? I hope you say the right side. So this numbering gives the double bond starting at carbon number two. So the name is the number where the carbon-carbon double bond starts, our root, and the ending ene. So we would call this two pentene. Notice the hyphens are between the numbers and the letters. This is not all of the name, but I'll get into the details in a moment. So here are some examples. We're going to determine the longest continuous chain containing the double bond and use that chain as the root, and we're going to number the root chain such that the first carbon in the double bond has the lowest number. Our name is going to be that carbon double bond number, the root, and ene. So this first molecule has five carbons. It's an ene, so pentene, and the double bond starts on the first carbon. So we would call this one pentene. The next one has four carbons, so it has an ene ending because of the double bond, a bute as the root, and as a first pass, we'll call this two butene. There's a little bit more to this name. If we have three carbons, the ending is ene, and we call this propene. We don't need to say one propene, because if the double bond started on the second carbon, that would actually be the same molecule. There is no two propene. There is only propene. So let's try and name this alkene. So we're going to find the longest chain and number it closest to the double bond. I believe this numbering system would be the best. So we have des because there are 10 carbons in the root, en because it contains a double bond, a two because that is where the double bond starts, and now we need to deal with the branches. We're going to continue with the numbering scheme we use to determine the location of the double bond. So we have substituents on the fourth carbon and the eighth carbon. On the eighth carbon, we have a one carbon branch, so that is a methyl group. And on the fourth carbon, we have a three carbon branch, so that is a propyl group. Remember that we need to list these alphabetically by branches. So this is 8-methyl, 4-propyl, 2-desene. Remember that the 2 identifies where the double bond occurs, and it comes just before the parent name. So here is a job for you. Give the name of the compound below. I'll help you by numbering. We can see that this is a 5-carbon chain and I have numbered it closest to the end with a double bond. Now don't start your homework quite yet on alkene naming, because there's another detail I need to share with you.